Travis, what's happening, man? Hey, how's it going? What's going on how's with you? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, a, I'm in a little bit of situation. I could use some help. Okay, we're here yeah. to help you, or at least to try. <laughs> what, what, what can we do for you? Uh, so I met this girl on Tinder, and it went, I thought it went really well. We went for a walk on the, you know, on the seaport. Yeah. We had a little picnic. You know, I don't know. It was really fun, and I was romantic, I guess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. I, I thought it went really well. I'm, I'm so confused. Uh, uh, we had a nice time. Like, she was laughing at my jokes. I mean, she was really sexy. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we were, all right, we're going to meet later on. We're going to go home, you know, and clean up and everything and then meet up later. Yeah. And, and then, of course, you know, it's going to happen here. We didn't meet up. <laughs> you didn't okay. like you didn't meet up because she she said she couldn't do it or she just didn't show up. She didn't show up. Oh no! Yeah, my friend. I know. <laughs> I know, and I'm like looking back over what could have happened, like what maybe I, you know, what did I do wrong? And then all I keep coming, all I keep thinking about is that it was really hot. And I had these like really sweaty pit stains. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh boy! I mean, see, the thing with that is that it happens to everybody, but sometimes it is like excessive. So <laughs> yeah, it was excessive. But, the, but she was sweating too. So she, she was like, "That's that's your defense." Can I ask you a question? Because I, I love that you keep saying you're like, "I think I was romantic." Um, you had really bad pit stains you say yeah did you at any point go to put your arm around her Ew. <laughs> yeah oh. Oh. <laughs> all right so you can't think of anything that you did though besides being excessively sweaty not really all right travis hang on the phone we're gonna try and uh <laughs> give her a call for you all right hello this is Shana. Sheena, this is Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa. Can uh, We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. And, and can I explain to you really quickly while we're calling? Well, how'd you get this number? I'm at work. Well, we got your number from a, a gentleman who wanted us to call you. He gave us your number. He would like to ask you out on a date, basically. And he wanted us to call because if you say yes to a date, you tell us where you'd like to go for a nice dinner or something like that when you're free all that stuff we'll schedule it and we'll pay for the entire thing and i'll tell you the guy's name too uh, i think this is really weird <laughs> what what guy okay so the guy he's a guy that you already saw you actually had plans to see him for dinner but he said you never showed up his name is travis oh f- that guy uh, i'm all set not interested <laughs> not a wow that was so fast well hold on can you explain okay so according to travis he said that you guys had a nice lunch picnic type of date and that you were planning to meet again for dinner the same night, but that you just didn't show up. Well, you know, I think he gave you, like, half of the story. You know, we did have a nice time. We went out. He ordered us lunch, which I thought was really cute and romantic. Mm -hmm. But he'd, like, run into the restaurant. He's like, I'll go get it. I already ordered it. And he'd walk out with a bag of food. And then he did the same thing with coffee, which I thought was kind of random because he has no idea what I like to eat or not eat. But then I'm like, all right, the so first day he's probably you know trying super hard. Oh, that so, could explain you. Know, it's funny because he said that when we talked to him, he he said I thought I was being romantic, so maybe that's that that's his version of romance, like ordering for you, even though he doesn't know if you're allergic to what you're eating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> I, I, but then out of like the blue, I got a phone call from his boy, and his boy was like, "Listen, I don't know you," and he wanted me to know that his friend was a piece of. Shit liar so wait hold on a second you, you so you got a phone call from one of his friends yeah his friend proceeds to tell me you know it's not what i think that this guy travis mm-hmm. walks into restaurants grabs bags of food with other people's name on them and he'll do the same for coffee so he's not even paying for it he walks in <laughs> like he owns the restaurant <laughs> hold on hold on hold on he'll, he'll just go in and just grab like any mm-hmm. order of who comes up with this idea? Wait, hold on. Okay, I got to tell you right now, Sheena. Travis is on the phone. Travis. Yeah. <laughs> Tra- yeah. Travis, is what she's saying true? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, it my true. God. Okay, okay. The, 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 you know, I commend you for being honest, but I have a question for you. If you did that for, for, for a lunch date, right? 
and you asked her yeah. to go to dinner later, later, what were you going to do? Sit at someone else's table <laughs> <laughs> when they went to the bathroom? <laughs> no, I have this whole thing for dinner where I pretend they messed up our food and I end up getting it for free. Oh, my. Honestly, I'm like, I, I'm not the best looking guy. So, like, <laughs> I, at least if I, like, act like a baller, it helps. You know, I hope to win them over with my personality. <laughs> So you hope I mean, to, wait, hold on. based so you, on the sound of it, you ain't going to do that much yeah, either. So you hope to win the girls over with your personality, and then you're going to reveal that you're a liar? And that's going to... Yeah. Yeah, but I've already won them over at that point. Uh, okay, and uh, does this work for you often? Well, it hasn't yet, but I mean, it seems like a good point. Okay, so <laughs> maybe wow. you need to rethink your tactics. Yeah. <laughs> I'm starting to think that too, yeah. <laughs> Travis, you're a piece of shit. You told me that you owned a Subway uh, franchise, and your friend yeah, told me that you actually work at Subway <laughs> and the Mercedes that you drove up in. Like you, you, you end up test driving the cars and return them the next day. Like, no, wait, hold on. You, you, you drove up. What kind of car did he drive up in? A Mercedes. And a Mercedes, and you, you took it for a test drive, and then you. Yeah. I was trying to make a good first impression. Mm, Travis, um, I don't care how good your personality is. Like, the, at the end of the day, the girl's going to be like, hey, this guy might be funny, but he's he's, he's, he's lying to me about every aspect of his everything. life. Everything. I, I didn't lie about everything. I mean, I, I was truthful about my family, like my sister and my dog. And I mean, I, yeah, I don't. I live with them, actually. I don't like... <laughs> of I, course you do. I live, in, I live in my parents' basement, honestly. Okay, oh all right. Oh, my God. Sheena, now you know the honest <laughs> truth about Travis. Travis, is there anything else that she needs to know <laughs> right. before we ask her? No, I mean, that's the thing. We, we, we're hit, we've hit rock bottom now. Like, it's we can only go up, right? <laughs> the sure? Side. Sheena, it's on you. Would you like another date with Travis? <laughs> You know, besides lying about his job, his car, and God knows what else. His living situation. Yeah. His living situation. I think there's more. <laughs> yeah. There's probably more. The only thing is, like, he was actually a, a really charming dude. He was a nice guy. And I Don't probably let the charmers get again. to you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Are you supposed to be... Supposed to be on my side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sheena, it sounds like you're gonna. You're, I you're, know. You're, you are, you, are you gonna say yes to another date? If that's all the lies there are, yeah, give him a second chance. Oh my God! <laughs> wow. wow. Okay, that did not. You know I did not <laughs> expect that at all. I promise. There's no other lies, okay? And and if we just go to a, a, any subway in the Metro West area, I can get you a free football. Hey. <laughs> I can't believe we made a love connection. I love this. We liars, you still have a chance. Uh, All right, yeah. yeah.